Now more breaking news. A former NFL player shot and killed in northwest Detroit, and police say whoever did it tried to cover up their tracks. The former Buffalo Bill is one of two people found dead in a basement of a home. Both appear to have multiple gunshot wounds. Sean Lay is live on the scene. Sean, do police have any suspects in this case? Not right now. We'll show you what police are doing to try to drum up some suspects here. But what we have is two families on the northwest side absolutely devastated. We're on Pearson. This is Hessel. Eight Mile Road is just a block that way. We're talking about family members of uh, Robert Eddins, a former NFL star, and his friend Ricky, a 32 year old father of four. Found in this home here, it was Eddins' father who had not heard from his son in 24 hours. At six o'clock tonight, he went rushing to the home and went inside and he made an awful discovery. It's very devastating to all of us that he's gone. Bridget Eddins is simply stunned. Just this past Saturday, she was with her son, former Buffalo Bills linebacker Robert Eddins, as Eddins was celebrating his son's fourth birthday. At 6 o'clock tonight, Eddins' concerned father came to check on Eddins at Eddins' grandmother's home on Pearson, finding the former Crockett High School football star shot to death in the basement, along with another man, family members identifying him as 32-year-old Ricky McFarland, a father of four. We know one room was ransacked, TVs left on, and gas filling the home. They try, I mean, they try to blow the house up. They try to, they, yep, they had the uh, uh, TVs on. They, the whole house went like gas. That's why we can't go in there. The whole house. They had, they tried to blow, they ransacked it and everything. Police tell us whoever shot and killed both men were trying to cover their tracks. The gas was on from the stove. Uh, somebody left on, the pilots were not lit, so it looks like it was an intentional act. Eddins played for Ball State, signed with the Bills in 2011. After one year, injuries sending him out of football and back home to Detroit and a big family that loved him. So I'm just so numb. I can't, I can't tell you, I can't cry, I can't do nothing. I just, all I know, this is just, my family don't need this at this time. We, it's just, we just. Back here live on the northwest side, all this shock for back here live on the northwest side, all the shock here by both families of what's happened. The bottom line is there are no suspects at this time. Detroit police homicide uh, investigators all over this neighborhood going door to door looking for any witnesses, also talking to family members to see who might be responsible for this double homicide. We're live in Detroit tonight on the west side. Sean Light, Local 4. Two fathers gone. Horrible. Now all those children without their father. Yeah. Thanks, Sean.